Thanks, Lauren. Western New Yorkers have had some beautiful weather so far this summer, but with all that fun in the sun and time outside, kids have greater exposures to allergens. Right now, we're talking some simple ways you can lessen the effects to allergies that your family is experiencing. Joining us from UB Pediatrics is Dr. Shivani Rosalingam. You are a pediatric allergist, so this is really the perfect subject matter for you, talking about how to maybe lessen those allergies for family members. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So my first question for you is, what are some of those allergens that people are experiencing? What causes these when they go outside? Do you have like a list of a top few that we could talk about? Yes, absolutely. So right now, really, grass seems to be the worst that's out right now, but coming up into August, we're definitely going to be seeing more weeds and definitely some ragweed, which is very prevalent in this area. So for people that do react to these allergens, what are they going to be experiencing? What signs should you be looking for in your children? Definitely. So first of all, when people kind of start with their allergy season, you tend to see more runny nose, sneezing, things like that. And then as the season tends to go on, you have more congestion and sort of difficulty breathing, perhaps. So I, I can imagine that a lot of people may not pay a lot of attention to allergies because it's something so many people right. <laughs> experience. But are there things that you should be worrying about when people start to develop these symptoms? Um, so definitely, most of these things can actually be controlled fairly well with a few things basically either altering your environment or using over-the-counter medications but if you do notice that you're having these symptoms for a prolonged period of time it could be a sinus infection or something like that so you might want to see your doctor so let's talk about lessening the effects because I'm sure yes. that's what people want to be <laughs> so we're talking about environmental allergens what can we do to kind of control those we kind of pulled up a list of all the things that you want to talk yes, about definitely so one of the most important things that you do want to do that you can change your environment is if you are going outside or the children are spending a lot of time outside when they come back in, you want to make sure you shower, change the clothes, wash the hair, because that will really help overall reducing your overall exposure to the pollens. Um, if it's possible to keep the windows closed, you definitely should do that, because particularly during the night, a lot of the pollens can come in, um, and so air conditioning is definitely very helpful. If you do notice that your basement is maybe a little bit moldy, things like that, or if there's mold growing in the shower or bathroom, um, trying to really get that removed with bleach, using a dehumidifier in the basement is definitely very helpful. Because really the worst thing for people that are experiencing environmental allergens are to come inside and still have to deal with that mold and exactly. dust. Exactly. So when it gets to a point where you need medication, what should you know about going through that process? Definitely. So the easiest way to start is by trying to do an oral antihistamine. So something you can really buy over the counter like cetirizine, Claritin, things like that. Um, and those are great because they can be used as needed. You can use it on the days when you have symptoms and you don't have to use it other days. If that doesn't seem to be working for you, we definitely recommend that you try to do a nasal steroid. Um, it also decreases the inflammation in the nose as well as the mucus production. But those, um, I always like to caution people, they really need to be used for several days in a row before you feel the effects, so it's not going to be able to use as needed. Now, do you recommend that people go to a doctor and find out what allergies they're reacting to? Um, I think it's definitely helpful. We see patients generally who have tried the over-the-counter stuff, you know, and they just don't think it's working for them or they have prolonged allergies and so they want to know if there's something else they can do, which is probably where we come in, where you're able to actually target what, which allergens it is and what are the specific times of the year that are going to be worse for you. And for people that want a little bit more information because this is something that yeah. is so common <laughs> and far-reaching, where can they go for that information? So we are actually available. We have three clinics. Um, we are downtown at Children's. We also have that Hamburg Clinic as well as one in Amherst, so it's really widely available or, of course, your local allergist. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us today. Thank you so much for having me. All right.